Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando, the Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us and becoming one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Giuliani, Jeb, and O'Reilly Snowjob. Though snowbound America, let's not be frozen out by K Street, nor succumb to adrift icebergs, Jeb and Rand, nor punctured by ice picks, Giuliani and O'Reilly, or suffer a Scott Walker brain freeze, because Oscar notwithstanding, loving America is not a white's only entrance. It's glory. Unlike Morning Joe, it never crossed my mind that conservative Republican leadership had planned on abandoning the anti-Obama plan, nor that conservative governors of little character had, nor that those packs packed in the underbelly of Vegas formulating gerrymandered districts would grasp that video, like the Internet, is forever. But we see you, and we know who you are. However, we snowed in social media posters could spend more of our time plowing roadways to big idea solutions for our larger challenges, rather than being so easily distracted into investing so much intellectual focus on small minds, momentary megaphones for sale, deposited by their sponsors onto our pathway to fog up our vision, dishonor our love of country, because their arctic blasts seek to white out our oversight of an earth on which we all depend, regardless of party affiliation, sexual preferences, or informational gaps in connection between feet of snow and feet of clay, the truth is, the earth is getting less dependable with each day, and while chasing glaciers of ignorance, we are missing it. Shoveling our way through what snow jobs have left behind, perhaps we shouldn't wander away from wondering how smart it is for smart people to spend so much time talking about people who choose not to be smart. Now, we all know, even when Supremes come in at five to four, and too many members of both our congressional houses fall well short of intellectual challenges, there are still a lot more smart Americans failing to do a lot of the smart things that need doing, like voting themselves into running the people who run the people who are supposed to be running the country. So... Through the 2015 blizzards of pre-2016 elections, let's campaign for the golden rule, common sense smart people for a change, and a chance to avoid the pile-up of hyperbole, cliches, and rhetoric. It should be more productive than ignoring our earth to death while poking each other on Facebook. Look, increasingly, our children and parks are the best snapshot of Mother Earth before we built its great recession. Whether a one-way ticket to Mars or not, our children will cast their grandchildren in the Edward G. Robinson Soylent Green role to tell the story of how we, the consumers, disappeared their future. With judges refusing same-sex marriages, doctors refusing child care for lesbians in training, and governors unable to discern what a president loves, maybe we finally have something more to fear than fear itself. Maybe it's smart to fear those who say something just for attention, votes, or ratings, to plow us under the marriage between short-term memory and long-term ignorance. If we insist, however, on casting pearls before mayors lost without a big apple, before former governors masquerading as something new when they're really something borrowed, when we fail to discern a series of killing books only kill the truth, then we become false prophets looking for a self-fulfilled prophecy like ISIL. Perhaps it's smarter to feel the fear, but stop the loss of the Bill of Rights and Sermon on the Mount to selective political lip service. Feel the fear, but stop the hypocrisy of the Hippocratic Oath. Feel the fear, but stop doctors failing to practice being medically caring human beings. Feel the fear, but stop those who speak of God speaking directly to them, speaking the unspeakable against love thy neighbor as thyself. Feel the fear, but stop politicians making little children suffer under their budget cuts. Time waits for no one. 
especially not those refusing to search its horizons. So let's lead by example, working toward justice for all, rather than battling against conservative reluctance to acquire a taste for truth, gender equality, common sense, and honor. Join us. Become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world. Thank you.